So you were the one Emmy has been helping. Not very, not very sporting to keep a secret, Emmy. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Inspector. So you were Emmy Scotland Yard connection, eh? What a small world. Hmm. He thought an investigation would have jogged the professor's memory of, at some point. What was that, Emmy? Hmm. Huh? What? Nothing. I was just... Is that a new hat, Professor? Abadashi Red can't wait. I... I hear there's some sort of giant specter menacing this town. Yes, it is quite a situation. Sounds like Hemi has briefed you on some of the particulars, but allow me to fill in the details. The specter has destroyed parts of the town with, their, with every appearance. Someone is pulling the strings on, on the specter. However, I can't. I'm not yet certain who. A specter conspiracy! The yard will. This shall not stand! I, Grosky of the Yard, will help you in your investigation. I shall go to Ms. the Maselli Police Chief and demand a full cooperation. To the Yard! <laughs> Hold on, Inspector! I haven't told you everything yet. And there he goes. Quite the acceptable gentleman. Well, let's take a look at what Emmy found. I think we'll find some useful information here. Oh, Professor, I, I had my films developed as well. Good thinking, Emmy. Is it a cutscene? Kind of. According to the police reports, Bob died when he fell off a cliff. No sign of struggle at the scene. A will was discovered at in his house. The details are sketchy, but it appears that it couldn't have been a suicide or an accident. And look at this. According to the single eye witness, there was no one else in the area. The eyewitness was Let me get my stylus real quick. Clark Triton. What? My dad? Did Clark ever mention that? Do you, did you know this, Luke? This is the first time I've heard of it. Mom never mentioned it either. In his will, Mr. Bob left the rights in it to his land to Clark. He left all the properties to someone he wasn't related to? Hmm. This is more than interesting. There's no mention of the specter in today's London in today's London newspaper. Despite the massive damage to sustained by the town. No mention. Don't you find that strange? Well the first the first we've heard about this was in Luke's letter. Someone's, is someone trying to keep this story from getting her out? It appears so. Who is capable of controlling the information like that? Let's confirm the reports at Mr. Alley Police Station before we jump to any conclusions. Perhaps Grosky has tacked down the police chief for us. Evan Bard. Hey, look. It's Goosey. It's Goosey. Well, it's Goosey's butt. Goosey. Goosey, what are you doing looking down there? I wanted a great, quiet place to hide. So I thought the library would work. I still stuck out, don't I? 
And I was trying to sandwich myself between the bookshelves too. So, so you, so you, you just sit in a quiet corner at night? No, he, he don't know what it's like to stick it out everywhere you go. That's crazy. But I, I can live with it. Hey, would you like to sh try a puzzle? Number 75, the magic paint. On a square piece of wood uh, with 20 centimeter sides, a mysterious, a mysterious fellow has painted an interesting design using a brush that's about 10 centimeters wide. This painter only used one type of paint, but there's quite, but there's quite, ma it's quite magical. It starts off pink, as shown in, in example 1. If the pink is painted over, it turns orange, as shown in example 2. If the brown, is, if the orange is painted over, it turns brown, in, as in example 3. With that in mind, how many brush strokes did it take? This. How many brush strokes did it take to paint this design? Hmm. Well, that'll be one, two, three, four, five, I think. See, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's the answer I'm going with. This is what I've come up with. I knew I could do it. Anyway, let's go. Correct. It took the mysterious fellow only five brushstrokes to paint the design. Of course, he didn't have he didn't have magic paint. So if he had if he did have magic paint, it would have been quite simple. So simple. Sorry. We've got a new action for the puppet theater. Moved. My granny says the yeah, library is so, so old that even the books on the. It even has books on the Legend of the Spectre. I, I still don't understand, though, Goosey. Why would you hide. Why were you hiding in that tiny little gap? It looks so nice and cozy. I thought that if I could slip in there, it, it wouldn't stick out at all. Well, that's ambitious, at least. That's goosey. <laughs> yeah, I still like doing the that's goosey voice. Emmy, what? you may want to return to London at some point in our investigation. Take my car at the entrance to the town. You can take your final destination with one there. Got it. That way I can catch any puzzles I missed in London. Exactly. Now let's move on. I don't think we need to do that. It's rabbit. It's finch. Oh no! You know about what I've seen since the specter appeared? Miles! The specter isn't. is not cool! I wish we could all emigrate back to the simpler time. I used to. I used to have a lot of puzzles like, like this one for my friends, but the friends kind of dried up. Puzzle number 76, Swap Meat. Starting with a, with a and moving cl clockwise with a circle of people, and some the people is arranged in the following order. Female, female, male, female, female, male, male. Swatch, swap the 
just two people to create a new arrangement where starting with A, you can you will create the same male female pattern with every count with every person or every other person. Can you make the swap? Um I think it's like that. Maybe. to swap C and D. That that way you'll get the same male female pattern counting every person, every second person, and every fourth person too. Did you notice that you also get that same pattern if you start from A and count it every third person or every fifth person going counterclockwise? No I didn't. You got a new action for the puppet theater. Hung. People saying town, someone controls the sector. Hey, who in the town would just want to destroy the whole nest? I don't think that specter is run, just randomly destroying buildings. Either way, I hope this. Uh, I hope the police can put an end to all this. I think it's Bucky. You think of boats, you think of Bucky. Look. The days have gone so quickly since the spe since the factory shut down. Sorry about the background noise, my cousin has the TV on. I, t I keep telling him to turn it off, but he keeps turning it back on. I wonder if it, if I, if I took my time there for granted, it, it, it was hard work, but I miss it now. A man has to feel like he's working, otherwise he, he starts thinking a lot of, of strange things. At least at the end of the day, I felt like I accomplished something. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure you came here to listen to it. Oh my grapes. You, you like puzzles? Number 77. How the bell tolls. How's, how the bells toll? Below are three bells. Each, each one has one red and one blue hammer attached. Beneath the, each bell is a counter and each one is rigged so such that its counter will increase according to certain rules, but whatever the bell struck above it. The counter has already reached the number shown below. Can you figure out how to use the red and blue hammers to ring the bell so they make all make the same thing counter counters display the same number? Yeah. Basically, getting the, the bells to ring the same. <clears throat> Let's see. Start with the top one. And then the left one. And then this one. Man, my throat's getting kind of sore. And I got a ways to go in this chapter. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Ding, ding, ding! Each time that you strike a bell with a red hammer, 
it goes up by three. If you strike a bell with a 